Hello. How you guys doing? There we go, kick it in. You know, I want to talk about this on the day. My softball experience recently. The team I was actually playing for is a local team. I think they're based like West Side Detroit or whatever. They played Jane Field on Thursday. They praised out Ranford and this one we'll talk about. This one kind of made me as I'm making this video. Okay, I've been practice team probably since mid January. We go every Saturday, we bat. We did maybe a couple of Saturdays of fielding drills and it's just like, whatever. You know, we had a good time. My guys, a good time hitting and everything was good. You know, we hitting a little bit. You know, I sat up the guys having fun, laughing, joking the whole time. They just might be decent having fun. Well, about, what's today, the 15th? Okay, Saturday, this last Saturday was the 13th. So we're talking about March 6th. You know, everybody's in the bed in cages and, you know, I don't cuss. I don't do anything crazy or stupid or say anything. If I was playing sports, I mean, I might trash talk the other team when I'm playing, but I practice. It's actually the baseball, softball, it's fun for me. So I get in there, you know, I'm batting around, I'm joking the guys, you know. You know, one guy that ain't got a team, ain't got a team, we're joking, having fun. And I'm thinking, okay, I go home. You know, guys are yelling, stop cousin, stop cousin. Not yelling at me, because I'm not cousin. I'm just having fun, chilling. Well, this what happens next. I get a phone call from one of the guys on the team talking about, I need not talk so much at practice. Wait a minute. I, we're in a facility. Uh, this is all fields. The location is all fields. This is in South, all fields. Uh, uh, baseball is an indoor facility owned by uh, Bruce Fields. He's played with Detroit Tigers back in the 1980s. And I'm sitting there like, there's kids in there practice, coming in there practice, they're and I'm just having fun joking. I'm saying no jokes. I'm making no good mama jokes, nothing like that. I'm just having fun cricket on guys messing up playing baseball, getting tired of this batting cage and stuff like that. Uh, a little backdrop, most of the guys on this team, about I'm about the middle aged guy on the team actually. I'm not even the oldest guy on the team by no stretch of imagination. There's a couple guys in their 60s that's playing. And quite frankly, I was just like, what? So I basically get this phone call just saying I talk too much. No, I didn't cuss. I didn't say nothing out the way. I didn't make no degrading remarks to nobody but having fun, joking back and forth about us being, one guy being too young and tired, basically. He said he needed to send a lack of milk. <laughs> He's 30 years old. He has no energy. He couldn't swing, and he swung. And then I missed the one, and he talking about he and I recorded. So that's all the cranking back and forth that happened really that day. I mean, he talking after about baseball, thinking about positions, playing, banging order, just, just trying to talk about whatever. Nothing out the way is stupid, but no, this is what happened. So I get the phone call. Well, uh, the practice is from like 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I get this phone call from one of the guys on the team about 3 o'clock afternoon, talking about you need to be cool, uh, not talk so much, tone it down. I'm like, really? Tone it down? I didn't cuss it up, so I'm sitting there on the phone, like, what the heck? So I'm like, really, what the heck? By the way, this video, I'm making sure. You know, the guy who called me, I want you to make sure you get this video back to them. It's going to be on YouTube, too. It's on three different formats. I'm sure you can find it. But, something like, really? So, as usual, yeah, it's a dry race board prop at it again, right? Here we go. Yeah, so I talked about the guys. You know, it was fun. We had okay fun. It was hitting. There's a feeling. I did enjoy myself to some degree. Yeah. Now, the second part. These guys act like old footy dudes. Dude, I'm not gonna sit there three and a half hours, two hours of that, not be totally silent. That's just not gonna happen in the game season. And I don't know what these guys are on or what type of stuff they're on. Like, these guys must be like old, 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 old. They might be a couple years older than me, man. Something like, like about 20 years older than me. Doggone grandpa, go play and see a season league. Wait till some of y'all turn you off anyway, go join the 15 over league. I bet you they probably got more than you guys do. Yeah. And you go back to the last time we used to practice, they used to play my hard, I practice in the outfield. I just go full blast because I play sports all my life. So they on that whatever, whatever. I'm just like, whatever. These guys are really out of their mind. And I basically told them last time, I told one of the guys that uh, called the team back, I said, no, last Saturday I'm going to practice. No, I'm not coming back to practice. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to find a team, make my own team, whatever at this point. The last part I'm talking about here is college prep. They all these little traditions, snap the fingers and all that. I'm like, I'm here for all this softball. I'm here to play softball. I want to do that. I would have joined the college fraternity when I was in college. The time I was took my system credit out. Whatever. Deuces and all that stuff. Play softball. Win the game, whatever else. Okay, you strike out. 
And they already know I'm going to do the beer thinking I don't drink anyway. That might be something to cry. I'm not. We felt down with the set like that. I get that. I have been down with the set 99% of my life. I'm good with that. And of course, it's Sunday early after sending the game. I might have something to do with it. I don't think they make an issue about it, but there's no way I'm playing one o'clock on Sunday. I don't got to explain why I'm not going to make a one o'clock game on Sunday on this video. Who know who know me off social media, on social media to some degree? You already know. I'm not making a one o'clock Sunday afternoon game. Probably not two o'clock. I might be three o'clock game to park far away. I should make it to a four o'clock game all the time. The three o'clock game depending on location. Two o'clock, that's almost never gonna happen. One o'clock, uh, get about. So yeah. And about far as playing positions and stuff, I don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. Definitely probably gonna play outfield, whatever. That probably wasn't the problem. It's just, dude, there's a guy on the team, uh, I actually know him too. And I, I actually coach with him, and he's about hyper as I am. Probably more hyper, and he's about seven, eight years younger, and they said nothing to him. So yeah, I'm totally ticked off about it. It's to the point, I'm not coming back and play. And yes, I, I will leave my phone number, and you can call me or whatever, hash out. Uh, I'm good. I was going to have fun. That's why I paid none of my fees and none of that stuff. That's utterly ridiculous. Talking about, oh, you talk too much. Yeah, I'm talking too much on this video. Please, please say something. Leave a comment. Matter of fact, who getting this video on text on YouTube will have my phone number. This whole thing is, and I know who it probably was on the team. I'm not going to talk names, but I know who probably at least one or two of the guys was for certain. So they act like they're about 100 years old anyway, but... I guess you want her to be old and not enjoy this with the kids getting to have fun. Be my guess. Guess what? I want to have fun and play. If not, fine. I'll find a way to get it done anywhere it goes. Because this dog don't think it's stupid what they did or whatever they said to me. Guess what? I'm not playing the college frat kiss up your behind game. And uh, the guys who can make that phone call, you need to go find another team to play for too. Because it is you, you to hang around and be one of their flunkers. Okay. That's it. Any questions or comments or concerns? Yes, you can email me, text me, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, or uh, or YouTube. Or comment on the YouTube page. You build a comment on that if you don't have an account there. Just say you got to say it's public, open forum. So I'm playing play softball. Somewhere else with somebody else I want to have some fun. I act like they're 100,000 years old. That's why I don't play guys sports with guys near my own age for. Thank you very much.